The following programs contain scenes of violence, coarse language, Get the hell out of here! and nudity intended for adult audiences. Your discretion is advised. The f*** y'all looking at? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 adult cartoons. For this list, we've defined adult cartoons as shows that are not necessarily inappropriate, but that feature humor that's inaccessible to kids. I thought you said start slacking off. Not slacking off. We've ranked our list based on overall impact, not current level of popularity, and have excluded shows that aren't technically cartoons. Sorry, Robot Chicken. <laughs> this happens more often than you'd think. <laughs> Number 10, Archer. Ironic, isn't it? I'm not sure that's technically irony. What? This is like O. Henry and Alanis Morissette had a baby and named it this exact situation. No. Yes, it's... it is. If James Bond and Don Draper's kid was raised by Charlie Sheen, it'd be Sterling Archer. What? A party boy and mama's boy, Archer won't hesitate to tell you he's the world's most dangerous secret assassin. An irreverent muddle of eras, references, and inappropriate jokes, this FX show won 2012's Critics' Choice Award for Best Animated Series, so Archer will likely be treating women like crap for years. Bet you promised me breakfast! You want breakfast? Try the diner. You're obviously into Greek. Get it? Thank you, Abelard. Number 9, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Who needs continuity and structured plots when you've got anthropomorphic fast food items? Spun off from Space Ghost Coast to Coast, this show was originally planned as a crime-solving story a la Scooby-Doo, but that was quickly abandoned in favor of the surreal adventures of Master Shake, Frylock, and Meatwad. I don't know what to tell you! Random, sometimes violent, and often nasty, Aqua Teen Hunger Force is absurd and fans are loving it. See, all I know is ball and good. And rape. Number eight, the boondocks. See, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. We don't use the N word in this house. Granddad, you said the word 46 times yesterday. I count. Hush. Filled with biting statements on African American culture, race relations, and we can't believe they said that moments, this anime inspired show follows a pair of African American brothers as they move to a mainly white suburb. With the articulate Huey acting as a mouthpiece for the show's creator, Aaron Magruder, this show can anger core fans but keep them coming back. But I was telling the truth! How many times have I told you you better not even dream about telling white folk the truth? You understand me? It also proves that cartoons can just get away with more. Just watch what you quote. Are those real? Real. Put it this way. If I pick one up and put it to your face, pull the trick, Will you be dead? Number seven. Yep. King of the Hill. Mm-hmm. When he's not mowing his lawn, peddling propane and propane accessories, or knocking back beers with his pals, Arlen, Texas resident Hank Hill is usually trying to teach his son Bobby some kind of lesson. With subtle humor aimed squarely at adults, Mike Judge's Emmy award-winning take on Southern middle American family life isn't offensive per se, but it's definitely not for kids. What's wrong, Hank? Oh my god. His handshake. It's limp. Number six, Futurama. Kill all humans. Must kill all humans. Bender, wake up! <clears throat> I was having the most wonderful dream. I think you were in it. It's Matt Groening's Emmy Award winning best and worst case scenario for the future. Darker than the Jetsons, more surreal and vulgar than the Simpsons, this cult hit show tracks Fry, a pizza delivery boy who gets cryogenically frozen and wakes up in 2999, where celebrity heads, aliens, and boozy robots live freely. Spock? Hey, hey do the thing! <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Both high and lowbrow, it's packed with references that make sci-fi nerds go nuts. Here's Stadium, where our women basketball teams play. We know can dunk, but good fundamentals. That more fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're killing me. Oh, God, you're killing me. Number five, Beavis and Butthead. Cool. <laughs> We're there, dude. <laughs> Like Futurama, this show's popularity earned it a second life. Lewd, crude, rude, and sometimes blamed for prompting criminal behavior, Beavis and Butthead are the moron twins of Generation X. 
They unite to score with chicks, eat nachos, and comment on music videos, and vulgarity always ensues. Uh, this chick's got kind of like a big mouth. Yeah, really. <laughs> and her nose is kind of big, too. <laughs> and you know what they say about having a big nose. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she probably's got a big schlong, too. <laughs> yeah. Despite its idiotic veneer, this series is hailed as a haven of intelligent and subversive comedy thanks to creator Mike Judge. Yeah, <laughs> we learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, The Ren and Stimpy Show. What is it, man? Before Beavis and Butthead, there were Ren and Stimpy. Nickelodeon's counter to educational programming, it was one of the first cartoons to tackle adult-oriented themes and humor. And by that we mean poop and snot jokes. The network's standards department hated their violence, coarse language, and homosexual undertones, but fans loved Ren and Stimpy's irreverent humor. That is, until Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon came along. Number three, Family Guy. No, 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 no! Just because there's a talking dog doesn't mean it's kid friendly. At times racist, sexist, and any other ist imaginable, the Griffin family makes us laugh, especially when we know we shouldn't. Mama, may I have cookie? No, diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh! It's that combo of wit controversy, pop culture references, cutaways, and musical numbers that brought Family Guy back from the brink twice. With Emmys and spin-offs galore, Seth MacFarlane is the new king of off-color cartoon comedy. Hey. I your dad. Number two, South Park. Wow, we're sorry your mom's a whore, dude. Yeah, it's sex. Crude animation, crude language, crude humor. Matt Stone's and Trey Parker's creation is one of the most universally offensive shows ever, but that's why we love it. Now, here's a little scout telling his parents that Mr. Grazier took naked pictures of him. Look what happens! Oh, no! Oh! 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 Nothing's off the table. Celebrities, religion, sexuality, politics, talking feces, all taboos are addressed by these wide-eyed kids. Do mentally challenged people go to hell? <laughs> handicap. Mental handicap. Between running gags and shocks for the sake of shocks, this show straddles the line between uber intelligent and uber stupid like no other. Cartman, don't say use him, you big silly goose. What did you say? I just called Cartman a name. He's a, he's a silly goose. You do not say big silly goose. You call him an asshole like a normal kid. But Dad, I was just trying to... Stanley, you call your friend an asshole this instant. Asshole? That's better. Don't come in, I told you so, bitch. Number one, The Simpsons. Well, everybody's got a fear of something. Not everybody. Sock puppets! Woo! Woo! Ah! Ah! With a never-ending sea of characters, catchphrases, and comedy, The Simpsons is a cultural touchstone for good reason. We know, you think it's been lame for 15 years and that it's never been adult-oriented. But in the early years, everyone had friends who weren't allowed to watch it. Witty, intelligent, entertaining, and always relevant, The Simpsons is the longest-running American sitcom and an inescapable part of pop culture. Oh, look at me. I'm making people happy. I'm the magical man from Happy Land in a gumdrop house on Lollipop Lane. Do you agree with our list? If you don't read the newspaper and the only TV you watch is the MTV, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. Which adult cartoon were you most likely to watch behind your parents' backs? For more great top tens about your favorite shows, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Cartman! Screw you guys, home.